G'day guys, and welcome to Photos from the Week. The last one for 2022. <laughs> Let's get into it! Wow, 2022, it kind of dragged but it flew by in a minute. It was filled with colour and events and parties and all the other sort of photography I love to do. Getting out there with the drone, capturing colour, capturing scenes. It was also your family. My grandmother turned 91 and my grandson turned one. Yeah, I did that thing where I tried to find my best photos of 2022, but you know, for me, when the photos are in the past, they're in the past. And I'm not really sure what my favourites were. I'm more interested in what my favourites are going to be. But in saying that, I did manage to get up to Mount Taranaki with bells and capture one of the iconic New Zealand shots. There was also a lot happening. We had the protests of the freedom movement, or some would say the anti-vaccine movement, which was interesting to cover. And also, during the year I moved up to Cambridge, which is new, and I got some new photography along with it. But these are just some shots that I scrolled through and I picked out that I enjoyed taking the photos of. Yeah. Hey, I want to thank you for watching Photos from the Week, for all your support on YouTube, and one of the things that makes it really worthwhile are comments like this. Like, you know, it's really, really motivating. It gives purpose to what I'm doing on YouTube. So thanks to everybody who watched and have a happy new year, 2023. It's your year. Yeah, I hope you had an awesome Christmas day. Uh, for us, we traveled from Cambridge over to Tauranga to catch up with some of Bells' family. And it was an awesome spot, a meaningful spot. And it's weird how we all do different things on Christmas Day, but we intersect in the same place at the same time. Anyway, the traffic didn't define the day. It was just a lovely, peaceful day with some awesome food. The lunch was great. There was turkey and ham and all the trimmings, tomato jelly and raspberry jelly and ragdoll cats. I mean, really, does it get any better than that? If you ask Bells, that's a no. And speaking of cats, Rossi not to be outdone. She loves the action. But she's not allowed to go for the birds. And this one's for you, Chris. I know you're going to appreciate this. Look at this guy. Even though he's so huge, he looks so cute. But you certainly know how thin a number eight wire is when the bull's standing right there. And have you heard of peristalsis before? Peristalsis. Look at the other side of the snail, it's quite entrancing. Don't you think? And we also went for a hike. You can see the video up here in the canopy. There's a place called Kakapuku Manga. It's situated in Te Awamutu. And it's quite a hike. But there's nothing like standing on top of a mountain and seeing what you can see. Well, actually, it was quite hard to see much because of all the bush. But a beautiful spot nonetheless. And the bush was there first. Once again, I want to say thank you so much for watching Photos from the Week during the year. It's so great to have your support, and it just gets me up making them every single week. I really, really appreciate you guys. So from Bells and I, have a happy new year. Bye.